You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome to CES Live. That's Kevin coming on over here into my bubble space. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit hidden here, you but... Are, uh, because we're not going to tell them what it is yet. We've got something really cool to show you. You can probably guess. <laughs> Actually, I want them to... Oh, oh, they already went to the wide shots. Uh, oh, the secret's out. <laughs> I'm pretty excited, though, because this is... Uh, we're talking about magic today. Because the are. first time I saw this, I thought it was magic. And I still look at MakerBot, and I think it's magic, and yes. it's amazing. Bree Pettis, the CEO of MakerBot, uh, you are pretty much famous in, in the entire... Uh, you wake up in the morning and you're like, this is pretty awesome, right? Like, Come on. You know, it's funny, we were here, <laughs> this is our fifth CES, and for the first couple yeah. of years, we were alone here as yeah. the first 3D printer, and nobody right. else was doing it, and it right. was like, it was just an uphill battle trying to explain 3D printing to people. People were like, what? And now it's now just like, a oh! dog pile. You <laughs> can't even get to our booth. You it's created so an industry. It's kind of absurd, it's yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So first of all, before we get into that, tell me how you created the make the first MakerBot, like why and, and all that good stuff. So in 2006, I quit my job as a public school teacher and I was a tinkerer and I was making videos, tutorial videos on how to make things and then I started a hackerspace called NYC Resistor with some friends and we... <coughs> a hackerspace for anyone who isn't familiar is basically a gathering of geeks who get to share ideas and help each other out and work from the same space. And share hardware and tools. We, yes. And so, yeah. So we had a, the only tool we couldn't afford was a 3D printer. Okay. So we had to make one. <laughs> and when it worked, we thought, this is, this, is this gives you a superpower. I can make anything. <laughs> Everybody should have one of these. And that's how MakerBot was born. That that's is awesome. awesome. And so you guys are announcing something brand new here at the show. Oh yeah, we dropped some major bombs oh. at CES. We've got, you know, and it's, there's a lot, there's a lot we announced. Yes. But it's not a laundry list. We announced the MakerBot Replicator 3D ecosystem. We made it just a whole package so that anybody can make things on a 3D printer. Regardless it, of their budget, regardless of their skill level. And you know what, one of the biggest challenges we have is is, is is getting people over that line into believing that they can do it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we there's no excuses anymore. Well, we took, I, we've got it all taken care of. Uh, that's fantastic, I can't wait to hear more about that, but just to, to specify a little bit more in that sure. arena, I mean, it is a, a very intimidating thing. You sit down and look at a, a, a 3D printer and you're like, how do I make this work? I have to know all of these programs and I have to know how to create and draw and uh -huh. That's the way you were allowed to feel before Monday of this week. Okay. You're not allowed right. to feel that way anymore. So tell me how that has all changed. So we, we have three, we, we launched three new 3D printers, a small, medium, and large, consumer, prosumer, industrial strength professional. And so, these have different markets. The, the small one, it actually has all, all, all the same components. The same MakerBot 3D printing platform okay. is inside. So it's got the same electronics as the big one. It's got the same infrastructure on the back end with the software. It's got this, all the apps, the MakerBot apps that we announced this week work with it. It's got a camera on it so that you can, um, so it's, it's easy, you can actually start a 3D print, walk out of the room, get a cup of tea, and monitor it oh, on the phone. Awesome. Oh, like and when that. it's done, it'll send you a message, or when it runs out of uh, MakerBot PLA filament, it'll say, I ran out of filament, feed me. Feed me. <laughs> and um, so we've really made it just fit, make it just integrate into your life. It's a network device, so you can be connected to it. Very cool. Um, and so there's the small one. Okay. That comes in at 1375. Okay. There's the medium one that we've got here. This is the make, that, the mini one is the MakerBot Replicator Mini. Okay. This is the MakerBot Replicator Desktop. This is the prosumer machine. If you're an engineer, industrial designer, I just want to think a little bit bigger. Yeah. This is the one for you. This is the one that when we announced it on Monday, Monday Lockheed Martin just started buying them. <laughs> That's amazing. So, That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and you know they're 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 literally wor working on next generation space exploration equipment with MakerBots, which is just like. Makes my little n <laughs> nerd heart go pitter pat, <laughs> and um, and so, you know, it's 
it's just so cool. And this one, uh, so bring bring okay, this forward bring and let's, on so yeah, can let's see show it? us. Cool, yeah. I'm gonna pull out the VisiWig cam here. Okay. Kevin. Okay. So oh, you get in yeah. there. I, I think I actually have a better view over here since All right. it's so right. large. So one thing you've got to do, you've got to turn this knob. We Let's we modeled this knob on high end stereo. Oh equipment. yeah. How does that feel? It feels nice. Yeah. Very distinct. Very distinct. You know, clicks as it ratchets around, right? And the clicks are. This is a really nice encoder there. Yeah. It doesn't very skip. Nice. It doesn't skip. So you can go fast, and it'll it'll nice. stay. It'll. It's, it, it stays with you. Yeah, no, that's and beautiful. And so this is to control the uh, display here? Yeah, this this is the uh, just this luscious three and a half inch color display, and this just lets you navigate. So you can actually browse your, your library of objects straight from the machine. Wait, so do we printer. need to preheat the basically the, the machine? It, you know, it takes a, uh, a minute or two once you start for the, the extruder to warm up. Yeah. Hey, and that's something I can talk about, actually. Yeah, so for a person who's never heard of 3D printing before, what's the, like, Let the elevator? Yeah. 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 So the way it works is you've got material in the back here. Okay. And, and now I'll let you take that one over. Going in. And you put the, this is Maker Bot PLA film, and it's a material <laughs> made from, uh, derived from corn. So it's a guilt-free making. Okay. And this goes into the extruder, which is right here. And the extruder snaps in here, and you send your design to the to the to the MakerBot replicator, either wirelessly or uh, with a USB stick, or you can connect it with your an Ethernet or USB cable, and then the machine jumps to life and starts build. It, it draws creates. a picture. The magic happens. Basically. And then the magic happens. Yeah. And you, the thing that was in your head, all of a sudden starts to exist in real life before you, where there was nothing. There is the thing that came right out of your. Out that of your is ideas. awesome. So, you, so we we see we've seen things in smaller versions where you know they're like you know maybe a couple of inches tall. Uh, this is a bigger model, as you said, for engineers. Yeah. Uh, how tall can you print with this? So this is our medium-sized prosumer, the 3D printer, and you can do it's eight by ten, which is kind of like eight by ten photograph, except six inches tall. Okay. Okay. How long would it take to print something like that house right there? You're looking at a couple hours. A couple hours. But it's, That's not it's bad. actually made in three parts. Okay. So we can take it apart and you can you can see if you're Ooh. an architect, oh. you've got all the insides. Oh, I was here. thinking I could play with my dolls, but You know what? That's actually uh, the 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 dollhouse community is strong with makeup. I I can it's imagine cool. they are. And is it I'm sorry, over here by you, is this like a um a, a prototype for a hand? This is something really special. This is a robo hand. And this is a project so. of a, a couple guys around the world prototyped this because one of them lost his fingers. Yes. And he made a new hand. And then is he. Is this the one from the, the two guys in the completely different? Tell that story. So. Sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a really special story. So we've got. Uh, this is. Um, so this is a Robo Hand project. And one of the guys lost his fingers and collaborated to make a new hand that he could strap on and use. And then he, they shared the design on our website, Thingiverse, which is a place where people share digital designs. And it, it's been really popular with kids who have a thing called amniotic band syndrome, where they're born without fingers or thumb, but they have a palm. So they strap this onto their hand, and then when they flex their wrist, they close their fingers so they can catch things, that they can pick awesome. things up, they can hold a pen. That's amazing. And this, this basically turns kids from a kid who doesn't have yeah. fingers into Iron Man. Yes. <laughs> and you know, it's uh, you know, we have uh, there's this has been downloaded over fifty thousand times, and, um, and you know, kids have used these to yeah. catch touchdowns. That is so Amazing. cool, and that's what's really cool about the uh, the three D space in general because you can share those designs and change other people's worlds. And I love that. And you guys were actually at the head of, all, just like Kevin said before, made an you're industry. At the head of all of this, and you are continuing to push the limits. And we really appreciate, as you know, a geeks, <laughs> to be able to see that and experience it. And I can't wait to get my hands on this thing. I'm hoping that you uh, maybe follow up with us. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I mean, you guys tell them, tell them. <laughs> what would you? What's the first thing you'd make, though? What's the first thing you'd print? A robot, of course. Okay. You know what's cool is we uh, we had Martha Stewart over to our booth the other day, and I asked her which one she wanted—the small one, the medium, or the one that I that I haven't talked about yet—the big one. Yeah. 
and she immediately pointed to the biggest one <laughs> and said, I want that one. I, I can make my plates, my of household course. goods, exactly. and all yes. the products, that household products, you can prototype them in her office. Fantastic. And then she was like, can I have number one? <laughs> <laughs> so, and on that you know. Note, you <laughs> must get that a lot then. It's like, can I have one right now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to um, go uh, right. to commercial break, but uh, I want, I, again, I want to hear so much more from you. Maybe you'll join us via Skype and we can ha continue this conversation after CES. Sounds great. And, and I should just point everybody to MakerBot.com to get the full lowdown on the new Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Thank Thanks you, Bree. Right okay. We really Take appreciate care. it. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at CES Live. I'm going to go play with this. You're going to head on to commercial break, and we'll be right back for more awesome geekiness. Definitely. See you guys soon. I'm Kevin. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye.